In the past hour, the State Board of Pardons and Paroles denied clemency for a death row inmate scheduled to be executed tomorrow for killing a little girl. But there is another attempt underway to delay the execution. Joe Hankey is outside the Fulton County Courthouse right now to explain how this is all shaping right now. Well, Jeff Virgil Presnell would become the first person executed in Georgia since the beginning of the pandemic. But right now inside the Fulton County Courthouse behind me, attorneys are making arguments on his behalf that certain conditions have not been met yet for executions to resume in Georgia. Virgil Presnell was found guilty of rape and murder in 1976 and sentenced to death. He's accused of following an 8 and 10 year old girl as they left Russell Elementary School in Cobb County and kidnapping them. He then drove them to a wooded area and raped the older girl. He drowned the younger girl in nearby Nickajack Creek as she tried to run. This afternoon in a Fulton County courtroom, a judge began hearing a lawsuit the Federal Defender Program filed against the state of Georgia and Attorney General Chris Carr. The Federal Defender Program is arguing the state agreed early in the pandemic that no executions should take place until the statewide judicial emergency order has expired, which it has. Normal prisoner visitations have resumed, which they have not, and a COVID-19 vaccine is available to the entire public, with kids under five still ineligible right now. An attorney for the Federal Defender Program also argued the state quickly scheduled the execution, leaving Presnell's attorneys ill-prepared for today's clemency hearing. We had no live witnesses. We had a few written statements. We normally put 50 to 100, sometimes even more than 100. Attorneys for the state argued an email outlining conditions for executions should not be considered binding, but in the past hour, a judge ruled it is in fact a valid contract. And that judge right now still hearing arguments on that lawsuit in the courthouse behind us. She has not uh, said yet when she will rule on this case. Could be tonight, could be tomorrow. But as of right now, Virgil Presnell is scheduled to be executed tomorrow at 7 p.m.